It's not every day that a game on Roblox can achieve a significant player count and sustain it throughout Roblox's history. I can only think of one other game that has managed to accomplish this, like Natural Disaster Survival. However, there is one game that stands out above the rest. A game that has been on the platform longer than any other and continues to remain relevant even today. This game recently celebrated its 15 year anniversary in March and continues to hold its position as one of the most influential Roblox games of all time. Of course, the game I'll be discussing is none other than Work at a Pizza Place. It's impressive to see how this game has managed to stay relevant and maintain a dedicated player base over all these years. What makes it stand out from every other classic Roblox game? To understand why this game has sustained itself, we need to dive into the person behind the game and the origins of its creation. Two thousand seven was a productive and adventurous year for Roblox, as the website had only been around for a year since its launch, and it was the same year when Roblox made significant changes to its platform. Prominent features were added, such as spawn locations, Robux, hats, tickets, builders club, force fields, teams, the report system, and much more, shaping Roblox into what it would become in the future. Roblox was different during this era. The games page was like the wild west for game developers, as Roblox was still establishing its identity and the player base it wanted to form. Most games on the front page were likely created by solo developers who treated Roblox games as small development projects purely for fun. These games were quite primitive. They lacked impressive design, and the Roblox engine was clunky at the time, since they were often created within a few hours or a few days. It was common for games to appear on the front page one day and then quickly fall into obscurity the next, and there weren't that many games on Roblox that people wanted to stick around for and continue playing. No games had any long-lasting impact, and the games page was a constant hop from one game to the next without creating any sense of identity or reason to return to a particular game. However, this formula of short-lived Roblox games was broken when a user joined Roblox on October 26, 2007. Michael Sly, also known as Dude1, is a well-known Roblox game developer who has achieved a place visit count of 4 billion and is the 82,471st user to join Roblox. While there isn't much information available about his personal life, it is commendable that he keeps his private life separate from his online persona. He had his humble beginnings as a Roblox player who grew fond of the games on the platform and decided to create his own personal Roblox projects right after joining the platform. Early in his career, he developed several small games such as Be a Superhero or Villain in Roblox City, and Futuristic Dogfight, and also Cops and Robbers Corrupt City, with games like Mega Miners, Giant Alligator, and of course, Work at a Pizza Place. However, there is one game that stood out and achieved substantial success titled Your Store Tycoon. Released in March 2008, this game allowed players to run their own store and attract customers to purchase items for the shelves, and use the generated revenue to upgrade and expand the store. While it may sound like a typical tycoon game on Roblox, Your Store Tycoon was different and it was way ahead of its time. It offered the ability to customize the placement of shelves, unlike most tycoons, where the store was pre-built. This feature was quite advanced for its time, as there was only a few number of Roblox games with a similar mechanic like it. And to add on to that, customers were depicted through PNG images instead of actual walking characters, adding a unique aspect to the game. Your Store Tycoon became a hit, especially in 2008, attracting a large number of visits and solidifying its place as one of Dude1's most successful Roblox games. The game even inspired a remaster called Retail Tycoon, developed by Haggy125, which went on to become one of the most successful Roblox games of all all time, accumulating approximately 210 million visits. It also received a sequel, amassing an additional 113 million visits. During Dude1's time on Roblox, he created a variety of games, some which remained irrelevant or achieved mild success. However, his most notable creation is Work at a Pizza Place, which he developed on November 3rd, 2007, about a week after joining Roblox. Although this game was initially put on hold as Dude1 focused on other small projects, it would later become incredibly influential in Roblox's history. One of these small projects was titled Work at a Krusty Krab, which served as a predecessor to the popular pizza making game we all know and love. Now, it should not be confused with Work at a Burger Place, which was developed a couple years later. Instead, we have Work at a Krusty Krab, which was the original version of the Work at a Pizza Place concept before the game gained widespread popularity. For those who are unfamiliar, the Krusty Krab is a fictional burger joint from the popular cartoon show SpongeBob SquarePants, and the game consisted of four jobs based on characters from the show. The jobs included SpongeBob as a fry cook, Squidward as a cashier, Mr. Krabs as the boss, 
and you just had dishwashers as the fourth job. Each job had its own purpose in ensuring that all customers received their orders. But sometime in early 2008, the game was shut down due to obvious copyright issues present in the game. The game couldn't sustain long-term success due to these copyright concerns, as well as the presence of bugs and uncommon practices of exploiting, which made the game unpolished, thus putting this game completely under the rug. The games we discussed so far either shut down, broke, or failed to retain player interest, resulting in them fading away. It was only after the game was shut down that things started to change for the better, on the platform, and for Dude Ones' entire career moving forward. From the beginning of this video, I mentioned that Work at a Pizza Place recently celebrated its 15th anniversary earlier this year in March. There's no doubt that a Roblox game maintaining its relevance over all these years, through game updates and a strong community, is an impressive accomplishment. Work at a Pizza Place was one of the first games created by Dude1, just about a week after he joined Roblox. Currently, the game stands as the fourth game on Roblox to reach 1 billion visits and has become an icon in the Roblox community. After Work at a Krusty Krab was shut down, Dude1 decided to prioritize his Pizza Place game and continued to improve it. Taking inspiration from Work at a Krusty Krab, the game shifted its focus to make pizzas at a pizzeria instead of preparing burgers at a burger joint. The goal of this game is to work at the Pizza Place, where players can engage in various jobs to earn in game currency called monies from paychecks. Players can use monies to upgrade their houses and purchase items. Additionally, they can choose to go on breaks, or visit other houses, or throw parties, and even travel to other islands. Since its release, the game has received periodic updates to ensure its relevance and its modern place in the platform, preventing it from fading away. To make note of its historic updates, let's first see where the game stands currently. Upon joining the game, you are greeted with a start screen featuring your character standing in front of a fictional restaurant called Builder Brothers Pizza, which was founded and established by the Builder Brothers. These Builder Brothers are represented by two Robloxian characters, one wearing an orange shirt, a mustache, and a Turbo Builders Club hard hat, while the other one is wearing a yellow shirt with an extravagant Builder Brothers Club hard hat. According to the Roblox wiki, the orange brother is named Mr. Builder and is a character you encounter in the game who owns the dump. As for the yellow brother, not much information is available except that he appears to be younger than Mr. Builder. Returning to the game, you'll be prompted to choose from six different roles, cashier, cook, pizza boxer, delivery, supplier, or home. Each role serves a specific purpose in the process of cooking pizzas and distributing food. So now let's quickly go over each job role and their respective tasks. The first job available in the game is the cashier, where you take orders from customers who either walk into the store or drive through the drive through Next is the cook, which involves receiving orders from the cashier and building the pizzas according to the customer's request. You then cook the pizzas and place them on the conveyor belt for further processing. If a customer orders a drink, you simply place the canned drink on the conveyor without cooking it. It. The pizza boxer's task is to box the pizzas and place them, along with the drinks, on the conveyor for the next stage of the process. Then the delivery role involves transporting the food to the local neighborhood based on the assigned house numbers labeled on each item. The supplier ensures that the restaurant has enough ingredients to make the pizzas. Without a sufficient supply of ingredients, the process will be disrupted and the pizzas cannot be made. The final role in the game is the manager, which is both the most versatile and controversial role in the entire game. Essentially, as a manager, you are responsible for overseeing seeing the restaurant and its employees, utilizing the powers and tools provided by the game. Technically, these are not all the roles. There is one more role called On Break, which doesn't directly contribute to the restaurant's operations, but serves as a more relaxed role to pass the time when you're not actively working. With all these roles working together, pizzas can be delivered to customers, and all players who are not on break receive a paycheck. The amount on the paycheck is determined by the number of successful deliveries since the last paycheck. That is essentially what the game has to offer in terms of its gameplay, but the game couldn't be where it is today unless we dive into how the game was updated over the years, and of course, addressing when the game was at its peak. Work at a Pizza Place has maintained its relevance by consistently releasing updates to keep the game fresh and lively. Whenever a bug was discovered, it was promptly fixed. If any improvements were needed for the jobs, they were implemented, and if certain aspects of the game lacked features, they were added. Since its release in late 2007, continuous updates have been made to the game. Over the following years, the game tested out new features and expansions. One notable addition in 2009 was the inclusion of cars, while the dump became a significant feature in 2010. Progressing all the way to 2013, Work at a Pizza Place had become a well-polished game. However, as Roblox games evolved over time, newer games started utilizing features, like data stores for game saving and more complex gameplay mechanics. 
mechanics. There was an emphasis on pushing the limits of what Roblox was capable of during that period, among other advancements. Unfortunately, work at a pizza place lacked these modern features. Progress was not saved after leaving the game, and there were no parties. There was also no house customization options, or places to explore. Without adapting to the modern practices of the platform, the game's fate would have been a steady decline into irrelevancy. Fortunately, Dude One reacted quickly, and released an unexpected update that saved the game's legacy for years to come. While researching this revamp update, I couldn't find the exact release date. I've watched numerous videos on YouTube showcasing the new update, including my own video on this channel that I've made, where I played the revamp update, uploaded on September 21st, 2014. However, the earliest video I was able to find was uploaded by The Common Man on September 13, 2014, so shout out to him. Therefore, for the purposes of this video, let's assume the update was released on September 13, 2014 for this video. This update was undoubtedly the best update that Work at a Pizza Place had ever received, as it completely revamped the game with changes to all the stations, adding music for the first time, introduced islands, implemented progress saving, and allowing house customization. As a cashier, you now had actual dialogue options options when taking orders. As a pizza boxer, the pizza box is actually open when putting in a pizza. As a delivery driver, the cars were smoother to drive around and the vehicles also received a revamp. As a supplier, the supply room got a revamp to transport boxes more easily. The manager position also gained more power, allowing players to give bonus checks to hardworking individuals and vote kick players who were not performing their jobs properly. Before this update, all the houses in the town had pre-built designs, and each of them had an NPC standing in front, representing the person you had to deliver the pizzas to. However, with this update, players were able to claim these houses and buy furniture from the dump. The furniture could then be placed wherever desired in their house. There was no custom placement system or a way to make your house stand out from others until this update dropped. Now, players can use their money to buy furniture and place it wherever they desire in their own house. They can even spend money to upgrade the size of their house, unlocking different tiers such as the second floor. Additionally, the update also added other features to enhance the social aspect of the game, such as gears and hats, which could be unlocked after purchasing them from the shop menu. The social aspect and replayability provided by this update boosted the game's longevity for years to come. This update transformed work at a pizza place, giving it a fresh start and attracting new players to the game, almost as if it had received a secret the Work at a Pizza Place community went nuts over this update, sparking the Roblox YouTuber scene to create videos about it as well. The update pleased the community that had developed over the years leading up to this massive update. After this update, the game continued to receive updates that fixed bugs and added new content without completely changing the game's formula. Although nowadays the updates the game receives aren't groundbreaking or anything like that, it still maintains thousands of concurrent players. However, it doesn't seem to be the kind of Roblox game that is frequently discussed in the current age. Now that this has been addressed, there have certainly been a fair share of interesting events throughout the game's history that are worth mentioning. Hacking incidents had their fair share of history on the Roblox platform, such as the infamous April 1st, 2012 hacking incident. Work at a Pizza Place, along with other popular Roblox games, fell victim to a hacking incident on July 8th, 2014, known as the Cool Kid Incident. The name is derived from the hacker behind the incident, who also used the same name. Cool Kid was a Roblox hacker who joined the platform on November 2nd, 2013. He was depicted as a red Robloxian character wearing a t-shirt that said Team Cool Kid, join today. Team Cool Kid refers to his own hacker group, and he would randomly invite players to join. Although the reason for needing a whole team to hack Roblox games remains unclear, it was a ploy for him and his team to simultaneously hack some of the most popular Roblox games that there was on the site. Cool Kid developed a hacking interface panel called Cool GY Reborn, which included various tools for server destruction and also admin commands with things like skybox changes, music, god mode, and more. All team members were given access to this panel to hack multiple Roblox games and wreak havoc on the platform. Sometime in mid-2016, Cool Kid and his group were eventually terminated from the platform. However, some people speculate that Cool Kid is still on the platform with another account, continuing to hack the website to this day. But it is unlikely though, as Roblox has significantly enhanced its security measures, including attention to security checks, anti-cheat systems, and other measures to prevent incidents like these from happening ever again. Work at a Pizza Place has been known to have a bunch of glitches throughout its history. I remember a glitch that my brother and I performed back in 2014 or 2015, sometime around there, and I even recorded it at the time as well. I've been scouring through my old computer files to see if the recording is still there, but unfortunately, I just couldn't find it. So I'll just describe what happened. In the earlier versions of the game, the game offered a plethora of gears to buy and equip, and there was this linked sword gear that you could buy and equip, 
But the thing about this sword is that it was pretty pointless because you couldn't actually kill other players with it. I was playing on my old computer while my brother was playing on a really crappy iPad third generation. So his gameplay experience was pretty laggy. It was so bad that even driving a car in the game was laggy and really slow. When I saw this happen, I decided to equip my linked sword and for whatever reason, I kept swinging it at him. And to our surprise, my brother's car started slowly flying in the air due to this glitch that was occurring. We kept at it for a while, having a lot of fun playing around with this unintentionally discovered glitch. It's these simple moments that I love to reflect on and look back on. The game used to be a buggy mess, but I loved the simple charm that the game used to have. I can list a ton of glitches that have been recorded throughout the game's history, but it feels comforting for me to share my personal story about the glitch I discovered on my own. I feel that listing the rest of the glitches is unnecessary, since, yes, we know this game used to be a buggy mess, like a lot of other Roblox games back in the day. I have fond memories of this game from different stages, whether it was before the revamp update or if it was after. For me, the most important thing about playing these Roblox games is the valuable memories that they create. And work at a pizza place, and also other games on the platform, shaped my childhood. And it's heartwarming to see that the game I used to play still has active players. I have this game to really thank for that. Work at a Pizza Place had its humble beginnings on the platform in 2007. Dude1 was a small creator in his teenage years, passionate about creating games for the platform, and would eventually create the game that everybody knows and loves. The dude is 31 years old at this point, and is swimming in his success of a Roblox game that he brought onto the platform when he was 15 years old, making games as a passion. I am excited to see the future of this game and whether it can continue to maintain its impressive fanbase. With how old the game is, Work at a Pizza Place has created lasting memories for many players. There are discussions among players about how amazing the game used to be and the experiences they've had with it. It seems that Work at a Pizza Place is one of those timeless games that will remain on the platform for a very long time. Its strong identity was established early on when it was first released, and through consistent updates and the support of a dedicated fanbase, the game has achieved long-term success. As the Roblox platform continues to grow, so does the game. Considering its predecessors, initial startup, steady growth, consistent updates, and dedicated fan Base, I can confidently say that Work at a Pizza Place is one of the best classic Roblox games to have come out onto the platform. As for its future, only time will tell. It ultimately rests in the hands of Dude 1 to decide whether to continue keeping Work at a Pizza Place as a timeless masterpiece, or let it become a piece of Roblox history that eventually fades away. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to know what you thought of this video or any fond memories you had of work at a pizza place in the comments section. This was my first documentary style video, so if you enjoyed it and want to see more, why not like and subscribe? I greatly appreciate any feedback that I can get to improve my content, since I'm still trying to discover the kind of content I enjoy making the most, so I'm glad I was able to create a video that I've really enjoyed creating. I also have a community Discord server linked in the description if you want to join, that would be great as well. That'll be it for me, this has been Brawl Battle, talking about work at a pizza place, and hope you have a great day.